ADSC or alternating DSC is one of three temperature modulated techniques available in Star E software. ADSC is particularly useful for the separation of superimposed effects. In addition, ADSC measurements permit low underlying heating rates for higher resolution and high modulated heating rates for enhanced sensitivity. For example, the step in the curve at the glass transition is caused by the change in heat capacity of the sample and corresponds to reversing heat flow. While the peak superimposed on the step is due to enthalpy relaxation and corresponds to the non-reversing heat flow. ADSC finds many uses in various industries. Common applications include curing reactions, polymorphism, melting and crystallization behavior, and glass transition determination. In ADSC, a small sinusoidal temperature modulation is superimposed on the linear temperature program, beta zero. The modulation is characterized by its amplitude, TA, and its period or frequency, TP. Continuous averaging of the heat flow over one cycle yields the total heat flow generated by the underlying heating rate. The total heat flow corresponds to the measured curve in a conventional DSC experiment. The reversing heat flow is determined from the amplitude of the modulated heat flow and the modulated heating rate. The difference between the total heat flow and the reversing heat flow gives the non-reversing heat flow. In this video, I describe the ADSC evaluation method performed on a PET sample to illustrate the kind of questions ADSC can answer. This includes how to separate reversing and non-reversing phenomena and obtain accurate heat capacity values using aluminum as a standard. The procedure can be summarized in just three simple steps. First, perform measurements of a blank, an aluminum reference standard, and a sample. Second, blank correct the reference and sample curves. Third, calculate the heat capacity, reversing and non-reversing curves, and phase angle. The phase angle is the delay in the heat flow response to the temperature modulation. Beginning with step one, perform the blank, reference and sample DSC measurements using the same method. Step two, to compensate for drift, you will need to subtract the blank curve from the aluminum and PET curves. Hold down the control key and left click to select the aluminum curve, PET sample curve and blank curve. Then, under the Math tab, select Subtract Curves. Blank curve subtraction compensates for any asymmetry in the measuring system and is thus necessary for accurate heat capacity determination. Step 3. Calculate the heat capacity, phase angle and reversing, non-reversing, and total heat flow curves. First, select both blank corrected curves. Then, under the DSC tab, Select Evaluation for ADSC. Set the calculation depth and reduction factor to 1. The reduction factor is the reducing number of measuring points for the ADSC evaluation. A period of 60 seconds is chosen based on the method's loop period. Select Phase Correction. This corrects the heat capacity value by a factor calculated from the measured phase angle. Confirm by clicking OK. Starting from the top, this evaluation show a blank curve, calibration with aluminum and PET sample curves. The ADSC evaluation computes a phase curve, total reversing and non-reversing sample curves, and the complex heat capacity curve. The enthalpy relaxation is observed in the non-reversing and total heat flow curves. The reversing curve shows the glass transition without an enthalpy relaxation peak. The peak due to cold crystallization is only observed in the non-reversing and total heat flow curves. 
The complex heat capacity is measured from the ratio of the amplitudes of the heating rate and heat flow, and the corrected phase angle between both properties. The in-phase and the out-phase components of the complex heat capacity can be determined from the phase curve. ADSC provides the following information. Total heat flow. Reversing, sensible heat flow. Non-reversing, latent heat flow. Complex heat capacity and its in-phase and out-phase components. And a very sensitive phase angle curve for the selected frequency. This can be compared to the data provided by the other temperature modulated techniques, ISOSTEP and TOPM. This diagram summarizes the benefits of ISOSTEP, ADSC, and TOPM. All three techniques permit overlapping effects to be distinguished. This is achieved by separating heat flow into reversing and non reversing heat flow components. In ADSC, different overlapping effects can be separated from one another at a single frequency. As a result, ADSC yields new information not obtained by conventional DSC, which allows you to understand and interpret the different thermal events that occur in the sample. Moreover, ADSC provides highly accurate heat capacity values using aluminum as a reference. ISOSTEP and TOPM are explained in separate videos. The basic principles and applications of temperature modulated DSC are explained in different articles published in our biannual Usercom Technical Customer Magazine. You can download Usercom articles at www.mt.com forward slash TA dash Usercoms. The ADSC datasheet is also available for download from our Star E webpage at www. Dot mt.com forward slash ta dash software.